Bikini-clad Sheridan Smith shows off her curves as she cozies up to a handsome mystery man as she parties up a storm during festive Mexico break. She recently declared she was so happy as she soaked up the sun in Mexico during her festive break. And Sheridan Smith looked on top of the world as she partied up a storm and cozied up to a handsome mystery man while preparing to welcome in the new year on Sunday. The silly actress, 36, showed off her toned curves in a black bandeau bikini top which clung to her ample assets as she frolicked poolside with the man, before cuddling up to him and planting a kiss on his cheek. Clearly unused to the blazing Mexican rays, the star showed off a hint of sunburn across her chest as well as her intricate tattoos as she chilled out with friends. She paired the tiny top with black shorts which highlighted her honed legs. Her blonde tresses were worn in natural waves and the star appeared to go makeup free for the occasion. Sheridan and the mystery hunk were seen embracing one another before taking to their salongers and enjoying a friendly chat. The star also enjoyed a refreshing fruity drink as she partied later slipping on a pair of gold-rimmed aviators to protect her peepers from the sweltering rays. Sheridan, who returned to screens as lazy stepmother she left for David Walliams' TV adaptation of his hit book Ratburger on Christmas Eve, seemed to be enjoying the end of a drama every year. Last month spoke about returning to the limelight after struggling with her mental health and why she is speaking out about it now. Sheridan pulled out performing in the West End production Funny Girl in December following the devastating death of her father, Colin, from cancer and she recalled, it was the worst thing. I hate it and I always think the show must go on and I hate letting anyone down but I think the public understood in a way that you can't choose when these things happen she said on the Jonathan Ross show. It was a gradual build-up when my dad got diagnosed and I just couldn't continue. I lost my mind, I completely did to the point where people were stopping me in the street and cuddling me because people understand that, it's just life. Discussing her battle with her mental health, she said, I'd been performing anyway leading up to that, and I've always had a bit of anxiety. And so I was a little bit nervous but the catalyst of it all was my dad. Now I'm in a better place. I want to say it's okay not to be okay because I didn't speak about it and then it snowballed and it came to this huge head. You're scared to ask for help because people think oh what have you got to be worried about? I've taken time away, stepped away, managed to be around my family, have some quality time with them and come back with this album and a tour and hope that people welcome me back. While she's feeling in a better place. The Gavin and Stacey actress admitted that she's still working on keeping her anxiety under control. She explained, It's a weird thing because people just go, pull yourself together and that's the worst thing you can say. You can't help it. Unfortunately it just comes. It's an issue that I have that I'm working on. Sheridan hasn't ruled out returning to the stage, however, as she explained, I'm straight back. I'm filming an ITV drama at the minute. Then a Channel 4 drama after that then I'm going on the road, I'm touring with the album which I've never done and I'm terrified.